Hey guys, this is Bruno and welcome to the first day of the Astral Projection course. Every day you will be given 10 tasks and at the end of the day you will have some additional reading and listening and watching that you can do as well on your own. So let's start with the first task of the first day and this could be arguably this the most important task. We will start by focusing on mindfulness. For this, we will take a deep breath. Please do it together with me one more time. One more time. And one last time. I recommend you to do this before you start your day or before you start any important task. Just be mindful, be here now. And there are many techniques that we will learn in order to be mindful. First, we will focus on our breath for one minute. So let's do it together. Okay, so very good. Now, now I want you to focus on the sounds you hear around you and tell me what you hear. Here, I hear the sound of my breathing. I can hear bird outside, I can hear faint voices in the background. And you, what do you hear? Now we will focus on things we smell. I can smell my own beard and body on my shirt. Mm. I can smell something in the house. There's a breeze coming from outside, a fresh breeze. Now we will understand what an amazing thing is to be a human person and all these things we can experience. I will say, whoa, I am a human person. I can taste chocolate. I can have sex. I can fly. Okay, I cannot fly, but I can jump out of a parachute. Now we will focus on our the things our, we are feeling with our skin, our tact, or So I am on a couch and I can feel the couch under my bum. I can feel what I'm touching with my fingertips here. I can feel my I can feel my my shirt brushing against my body. I can feel my hat. I can feel the freaky hair in my beard. 
I feel my glasses resting on my nose. And we open our eyes and we take another deep breath. And we focus on the things we can see. What can we see around? I can see a drawer. I can see a mirror. I can see a couch. I see my arm. I can zoom in in my arm. I can see some little details in my arm. I see a TV, a window, a roof, many small details. And now we will concentrate on other things we feel besides our five senses. So we'll take a deep breath three times. They say we have more than 20, 25 senses besides our five main senses. So we go, holy shit, I'm a human person. I can feel gravity. I can feel the gravity pulling me towards the earth. I can feel temperature. I can feel the passing of time. I have some kinetic intelligence. I can feel where my body is in space, where my hand is touching my nose. I can feel the space I'm occupying. realizing you're a human experiencing a human body is a great great first step to starting astral project projecting because once you're mindful here you will also be mindful in the astral or in your dreams it's very difficult to be mindful only here when you're mindful here you're mindful everywhere so here is a good start because we are here now you're watching this video in the physical matter reality And this was the first thing, your first task for today. Your second task will be to be aware of the rules of this physical matter reality. Why we need to do this? We need to do this because in order to break the rules, we need to learn and understand the rules first. I know it's a bit weird, but it will all make sense in the end, so just roll with it. I will ask you, what, can, what are the rules of this physical reality in the... In the human experience of the planet Earth of the 21st century, what things can you do? What things you cannot do? For example, I cannot fly. I cannot um, have some telepathy, talk to people, or I, telekinesis. I cannot move things with my mind. I cannot be in two places at once. I cannot shoot fireballs. I don't know. I cannot teleport. Now that we know which things we cannot do, then we can learn how to do them. Mm -hmm. And the third thing we will uh, go through today, it will be to remove all your fears or in your preconceptions of what astral projection is and what you can do as a human, what the rules are. For this we take a deep breath. And we let go of all your beliefs or preconceptions of the things related to astral projection. For example, some of you will have the belief that this is not real. Some of you will have the belief that this is real, but it's not for you. Some of you will have the belief that this is difficult to do. And some of you will think it's, um, it's scary or it's dangerous. Maybe some of you think that you will go to hell or you will get stuck in the astral and not being able to come back. So depending on your upbringing, your conditioning, how have you been conditioned to think this or that by your parents, by society, by science, 
by Hollywood, by whatever, we will have to remove all of that, regardless of what it is. How to do that? We take a deep breath, and when we breathe, we take some fresh energy, fresh air, and we, when we breathe out, we let all these preconceptions go. Whatever it is you believe about astral projection, just let, just let it go. And we will do it but by breathing together 10 times and focusing our intent in letting go of all these beliefs. Okay, great. So now we get a fresh start. You remove all your conditioning regarding astral projection. And if you still have some, which is uh, normal and very common, what I would advise you to do is to do a recording of yourself um, with some positive affirmations as a way to remove these beliefs. So use your phone. It, all the phones now have... Uh, audio recording function so if you go to search type audio uh, record recorder and then you record your own voice saying uh, something to contradict your belief so if your belief is that astral projection is not real the the recording will say astral projection is real i am more than my physical body i can astral project is very easy for me it's very simple, it's natural for me, it's my right, I, I have to experience this, I want to experience this, I will experience this. Okay, and if your belief is that astral projection is dangerous, you can use an affirmation saying astral projection is very safe, I cannot get stuck. It's very easy to come back. It will help me explore other realities. It will help me enhance my human experience. It is for me. It will help me remove my fears. It will help me grow as a human. It's very safe. And then that recording, you will play it again and again while you sleep or you will just Repeat it for yourself when you are out for a walk. And that's one way of removing your belief. Other way would be writing it down. Other way could be asking for help. You can always ask for help. Not my help, just help of other entities or the system or life that is there to help you. So you just ask help of removing your beliefs. And that's how we do it. The next task is number four. Yes, I think. Yeah, so number four will be to find your tribe. This is very important because we need, it's, very, it's a bit more difficult to do it on your own. So sometimes we need support of other human entities who have been through this experience or are going through this experience. And we try to find a tribe that is at our level or a bit higher because if you find people who are a bit lower on your development level you will find yourself um, having to defend the ideas or explaining from from zero or doing some things 
that will not help you grow much. And as a bonus, I have created a Discord group for everybody taking this course. So you can, you guys can be your own tribe. You can support each other and help each other. And otherwise, if you don't want to join this Discord group, there are already plenty of many other Discord groups. There are many Facebook groups. There are many subreddits. There are many, I don't know, many other forums. I'm sure there are every social media has lots of groups for astral projection. Now we will go for the next one, and next one is a deal breaker. This is something that you have to do if you want to astral project, maybe one of the most important things, and that is to get a dream journal. If you don't, if you are not doing this already, I know probably you think it's boring, or it takes work, takes effort, but it's a deal breaker, so you have to do it. If you don't have one, just go get one a dream journal and start writing down your dreams tonight. In my case, I wake up at 2, 3, I start writing, and then I write another one at 6 before waking up. Sometimes up to 5 dreams in one night I can write. But some nights it's just very deep sleep, so I don't write anything. The important thing is that you have the intention of remembering your dreams and writing them down. It's kind of committing to it, because if you have to write them down, then you have to remember them. Otherwise, you won't be able to write them down. The next one is, uh, so step number seven of the 10 tasks for today is to get a token to do reality checks. Like in the movie Inception, they use a die or a ring or I don't remember what else. Maybe a pebble or marble could work. So take it in your pocket and a couple times a day you just take it out and you check it out. And if you don't want to use a token, you can still do reality checks by looking at your hands. I know this is a very um, typical common advice. And it's super, super important because eventually when you're dreaming or when you're astral projecting, you will start doing these reality checks. And if you check your hands now, they are they look normal, but when you check your hands in the dream space, I mean in the astral plane, your hands sometimes they have three or four fingers, sometimes they are too big, sometimes they are deformed because you don't have hands in the astral. You are consciousness and consciousness doesn't have hands or a form, so you have to create those hands. And the fact that you are creating those hands, that means that you are becoming aware and conscientious. Uh, conscious of what you're doing. Once you create your hands, then you can also create other things and you can navigate more easily and without fear. The next one, uh, next thing you have to do, number eight for today, this is also a deal breaker. Mm. This is called um, the wake and back to bed technique. This is the most important technique people use for astral project projecting. And I will explain, first I will explain how to do it, and then I will explain why is it the most important one. I have, wait, let me check, let me show you. I have an alarm clock. Uh, you can see, yes. So this little watch has an alarm. So I set up the alarm for 3 a.m. every night. I usually go to bed around 10. So I sleep maybe five hours and then the alarm rings. So those five hours are very important because these hours are when the mo your growth happens, your hair grows, your nail grows, your, your muscle grow if you've been working out, you recover your neurons, you know, things in your brain, they, they get repaired. So that's the repairing sleep that you need. And after that sleep, uh, after five, maybe four, five, six hours of, of sleeping, you wake up and that's the best time to go to the astral. Why is that? Because you will save yourself a lot of time that is needed at the beginning to relax your mind, relax your body and letting go. When you wake up at three in the morning, you are already super, super relaxed. You're not thinking of your your human problems of money of your partner of health you're not thinking of any of that your your mind 
is has already let go of all of that and your body is still super relaxed. So what people usually do, they wake up at three, they go to the bathroom to make sure you can relax all your muscles, including those muscles. And then you go back to bed. And this is 80% of the work of going to the astro. The other 10% is maybe you listening to some, some binaural beat or doing some auto hypnosis. We listen to the binaural beat. Binaural beat are some frequencies that we listen in one different in, with stereo headphones in, in, in our ears. And these frequencies, they put our brain in the right state for astral projecting. The right state is the theta state. Also, the hypnagogic state works well. And there are binaural beat frequencies for many, many uh, states. I will include some links in the description for the binaural beats of um, Hemisync, which are from the Monroe Institute. But you can use any binaural beat you want. You can go to YouTube and type binaural beat for Astral Project and you will find lots of frequencies, different frequencies. Just try the one that works for you. In my case, at the beginning I was listening the binaural beats maybe half an hour to one hour and may now it's maybe five, ten minutes. And this is the other 10%. So we said the 80% is the way come back to bed. That's step number eight. Step number nine is the binaural bit. And now step number 10, the last one, and the remaining 10% needed to go to the astral is to focus your whole intent in what you want to do, going to the astral, and if you want, trying some technique. There are many techniques. So tonight, in the first day, after you wake up at three and after you listen to some binaural beat frequency for astral projecting for 15, 20 minutes, you will try some technique. So ah, you will remove your earphones, put them to the side, maybe turn off your phone and then try the technique when you are super relaxed and your brain is already on that theta state. For these techniques, you can try the typical the most famous technique, which is rolling out. So you just roll like this, out of bed, out of bed. This exerts some force on the astral body. You try that for, I don't know, 10 minutes. If that doesn't work, try another technique. You can try pulling the rope. So imagine yourself pulling out the rope. Try that five, 10 minutes, doesn't work. Try another technique. You can imagine that you are being pulled out of your body or that you are becoming mist and you are evaporating out. You can tr imagine that you are reaching, your limbs are extending and you are reaching for your door handle. You can imagine that you are sinking, that you are floating. You, are, you can imagine wherever you want, doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. What matters is that the system will see, okay, so this guy is really trying, he's trying really hard to do this. He's, he watched the course, he woke up at three, he listened to the audio, he's putting his whole effort, his positive intention. He really wants this and the system will, will say, okay, I will give this guy the experience because he's trying to grow, he's trying to become better, he's trying to learn something new, he's trying to open his mind expand his horizons <clears throat> and if you're ready for that the, you will have the experience that you need to have and now for the last uh, part of this uh, day one it will be first the um, optional additional reading this for the first day it has to be of course uh, journeys out of the body which is the number one book on astral projection you can easily find it on LiveGen or on any uh, website to download books. I think there's C library or any, or you can buy it on Amazon, I don't know. Like I will put the link anyway in the description. This is the most important book for astral projection, the one that started it all and motivated all of us. And if it wasn't for this book, I wouldn't probably wouldn't even know about that these things were possible. And the second thing is the optional listening. 
this will be repeating the listening we did now. Whenever you walk in, talking, you're sitting at home, just pay attention to those sounds around you. Take a deep breath and notice, oh, my breath makes some sound. There's sound of an animal, there's the wind blowing. There's a cat scratching. There's a killer clown coming. There's the chainsaw. More people screaming. Whatever sounds you hear, doesn't matter. <clears throat> And the optional watch for tonight, if you have time, if you want, is the show I mentioned at the beginning, uh, no, sorry, at the introduction. It's called Behind Her Eyes, and it's a Netflix show that features astral projection, and I thought it was very good. And it will help you set the mood for these kind of things, because when you read about it, and you listen it from me, and then you are in your support group, <laughs> your tribe, and then you watch something, and then you practice, it just all adds up to putting you into that mental state needed to accomplish this. And I will see you tomorrow. I remember to be mindful and enjoy everything about this uh, human experiences you're having. Every step you take, every person you interact with, every choice you make, every food you taste, Every moment sitting or laying down, relaxing, every difficult thing you go through, experience it fully, learn from it as much as you can, smile, have fun, feel the love, feel the unity, feel the power, and see you tomorrow.